Alright, y'all, I haven't gotten a video in a good minute, so I had to drop some knowledge on your head talk real quick. I got a goat to your playlist coming out that I think anybody and everybody could like if you have tastes that aren't of an infant that's addicted to Doritos and Mountain Dew injected directly into his veins. But other than those troglodytes, I got a playlist coming out that I think people are going to like. Uh, a music review, an ASMR review. And all of, well, all of that will come out the second that Econ stops slapping the living hell out of me. But that's not going to be time soon, so don't hold your breath. Anyway, so I think as anybody knows by now, if you are not already rich and you don't depend a lot like the rest of us poor, lower-class curmudgeons, um, there is a Mega Millions 1.6 billion dollar lottery going on right now and um today is monday what wait today is tuesday right T today is wednesday what nani um today is wednesday apparently so the the main point of this video in my opinion is what should you do immediately after you won the lottery and in my opinion it's three three pretty quick pretty quick um uh tidbits and by the way, I'm going to be auspices that you, A, don't live in one of the anonymous states that I have on this screen right here. Um, and that B, you can't just get a bank wire because if you still have to report in to where you got it from or to some predestined location, they're basically setting you up to die. Like, that's pretty much all that's happening. Um, so under auspices that you have to report somewhere. And you will have to face these odds. And you don't live in the eight states that plan on protecting you from getting absolutely murdered. Let's just say what you should do. Here, here's, here's three things you could do. A, pay someone or guarantee them a set percent of this 1.6 billion, which ended up being like, I think, 595 million after taxes and such. Um, pay them to go in there and, and get that for you. And risk their life for, let's say, a cool 100K, which, you know, many people would. A lot of people are poor. Um, two, get a blank mask like the all-time GOAT. Uh, <laughs> this, is a, this is a very legitimate legitimate analysis I'm giving you right here. This, this isn't a joke. You should probably actually do this because if you don't, for the foreseeable, like the, for this, for the short run, long term, no one cares because no one ever cares about who wins the lottery. People have the tender spans of, 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 of IG thoughts when tasked with doing something that involves not twerking for payment on a cash app. If you just hide your identity immediately and don't come out of your own accord, like maybe they'll gnash your name, but of your own accord, don't come out. You'll be forgotten within like probably a month, maybe two. So if you just hide your identity and don't announce this yourself, just act like it doesn't even happen, you'll probably be okay. And my third and my biggest one is, uh, and this is this is one that depending on what state you're in, you know this this <laughs> this might be a legitimate strategy. This might not be, you know. I just <laughs> I just recommend getting this strap, as Fifty Cent would say. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you, Mo. Uh, if you got a self report and they do a whole little ensemble, a, a, a damn concerto announcing that you won it, I'm gonna be honest with you, man. People are gonna be aligned at pretty much every gas station from where they got the thing from, from the ticket, to probably within a 20 mile, 20 mile radius of that gas station. So if I'm gonna keep it G real with you, Chief. Uh, you gonna you gonna have to be strapped up getting out of there, and I'm I'm presuming you don't got a bulletproof you know whip quite yet because you just got the money. So <laughs> if you do, just get in the car might be enough. You want to do with some uh some Tom uh Tom Bo Tom Boy, is that a person Tom Boy? Tom Cruise, <laughs> some uh, Bobby Schmurter Tom Cruise and getting out of there real quick like because uh, otherwise it might be a big GG in the chat. Cause uh you know I mean I think if if the lot if the movie lottery ticket a hood classic which means only two people saw it on YouTube um 
lottery ticket, the movie, it took them, I think, like, I think that on Friday, and it took them to the, the next business day, which was Monday, I believe. Yeah, a long holiday weekend. They had to wait till the next Monday when it opened back up to actually deposit it. I don't know if that principle, like, like works in real life and not a, a trash D-list movie. Um, but <laughs> if that is the case, you might have to get the strap and buckle, buckle down like it's, um, like Vietnam is occurring again and the PTSD is setting in. You got, you got to defend yourself from the, the Viet Cong. Um, that's all I really got to talk about. Uh, either get the strap or get the mask or sacrifice your firstborn to go in there in the war zone and get it himself. Uh, it's your boy, Javiv's and Trap. Uh, biscuits from heaven. Uh, these biscuits hopefully equal me selling these biscuits to whoever wins a lottery ticket. Cause I don't have all the biscuits for you. Uh, peace.